been three days since the sudden demise of veteran Indian actor Shri Devi. She passed away in Dubai on Saturday night at the age of 54. According to the latest reports, her body is still in the mortuary in Dubai. Dubai police has moved the case to the Dubai public prosecutor and it needs clearance before being taken to the embalming unit. Indian consulate officials and family members of Boni Kapoor and Sri Devi are waiting to receive a clearance letter from the Dubai public prosecution. Now, fresh details which have emerged about her death are raising more questions than answers. The autopsy report, which has been accessed by Vion, says that the cause of the death is accidental drowning. Interestingly enough, there is no mention in the report of Sri Devi having a cardiac arrest, which was initially, remember, suspected to be the cause of her untimely demise. According to local media reports in Dubai, under the influence of alcohol, Sri Devi fell into her hotel room bathtub. Uh, and accidentally drowned. The public prosecutor was reportedly not satisfied with the medical report and the answers given by Sri Devi's husband, Boni Kapoor. So he was reportedly questioned again. So what happened on that unfortunate night? Well, reports state that Sri Devi's husband, Boni Kapoor, had flown back to Dubai to surprise his wife. The couple had made plans for dinner and Sri Devi had gone to the washroom to get ready. When she did not emerge for several minutes, Boni Kapoor forced the bathroom door open and found Sri Devi lying motionless in a tub full of water. When she was rushed to a nearby hospital, she was already pronounced dead. And the actor's untimely demise has left the country stunned. Shocked fans have been queuing up outside the actor's residence in Mumbai to catch a final glimpse of their beloved superstar. But their wait continues as several formalities still remain to be completed in Dubai before the actor's remains are flown back. So what is the process of repatriation? What happens if a person dies a natural death outside his or her home country? and for the remains to be flown back. Let's break down the process which is followed in Dubai. If the death occurs outside a hospital, which it did in this case, a forensic report has to be obtained from the police to investigate the cause of death. This can take three to seven days to be issued. If the death occurs in a hospital, a death notification from the hospital outlines the reasons of death. Next comes the death certificate and its attestation by the Ministry of Health, Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Department of Naturalization and Residency. If the body will be transported to a non-Arab country, the certificate has to be translated into English by a notary. Next, the embassy of the person's home country has to be informed. They will register the death, provide a no-objection letter and cancel the passport. One has to then return with these documents to the police station. Some stations require documents translated into Arabic. The police will issue three letters for releasing the body from the hospital, embalming the body and transporting the body to the airport. These three letters issued by the police have to then be handed over to the medical fitness center which verifies the documents are in order and checks if the body has any infectious diseases. If a body has contagious diseases, it cannot be embarked in Dubai. The body is then released from the police or the hospital mortuary and taken to Dubai's Sonapur for embalming. All documents plus seven photocopies have to be submitted to the cargo village and airlines for repatriation. The coffin is labelled as human remains and scanned at the airport. Human remains do not have to be accompanied by a living person, but if a person chooses to accompany the body, a ticket has to be booked. When the body reaches the home country, one has to arrange for a company to receive it there. Funeral service companies have agents to handle this. A family member or friend can receive the coffin on the other side only in some countries. As of now, Sri Devi's remains are... Uh, in fact, Sri Devi's post-mortem has been completed uh, before the subsequent steps, as we just highlighted, are followed for the remains to reach Mumbai.